You have to work hard. No one's gonna give it to you. You have to chase your dreams. You have to trust the process. Nothing happens instantly. And you have to stop comparing yourself with others. Hi, my name is Denzel. I'm a street dancer and I'm from Indonesia. I started dancing like around between the age of 11 and 12. But that time I did like kind of like hip hop-ish, like kids class here and there and just like some other styles as well. Around the age of 15 or 16, like 2015, 2016, if I remember correctly. And one of my teachers, she played a video in YouTube, which is Ibuki versus Junko in Korea. And I was like, damn, who is that girl? Like. She killing it, she kills everything so strong and just catching all the music and just from that moment, that's where I decided to do whacking. For whacking, my top two when I started, it was always Ibuki and Liv J. Yes, but like I get a lot of inspirations from other dancers as well, you know, in like the choreo side or even in the freestyle side. Like I really like Kevin Paradox from hip hop. He's like one of my biggest inspiration. I get inspiration a lot from anime. A lot of my poses are inspired from like Jojo, Bizarre Adventure. Yeah, even a lot of people saw that reference. They're like, oh my God, that's a Jojo post. And I'm like, yes, like, or even Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. Like, there's a lot of characters that inspire my dance or even scenery, like Studio Ghibli. Studio Ghibli movies, the scenery can somehow inspire me to move in a certain way. What is the most, I guess, important and memorable experience you have ever since you become a street dancer? You no, know, one of the main one is when I get to battle my idol, Ibuki in Street Dance of China. It was it has always been a dream to battle her, but I feel like when I started whacking, Ibuki kind of stopped doing it. So she wouldn't battle as much, you know, like she would always be judging my battle or she would, you know, just like not do whacking, like not do whacking battles anymore. So I never had the opportunity to battle her. So Street Dance of China was like a really full circle moment for me, like all those hard years of work and like, you know, just like admiring her and finally we could be in the same stage and battling. Honestly, um, I really want to keep growing, not just as a freestyler. You know, I'm trying to be more in all the scenes. Like, I want to do more choreography, work with more people, do a, like a performance, like, how can I say, like a recital or something. Like, be more in like that industry as well. I don't want to limit myself as just a freestyle da dancer. And I want to learn more styles and keep traveling, learn different cultures. So yeah, for now, I don't think I want to settle like settle in one place or even like open a studio. I don't think that's, I just want to keep digging and see where dance can bring me to. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes! My day ones, like Difa. Okay. Yeah, she's my partner since day one. And not only just like, we practically are like brothers and sisters. We lived together before in Otu Dance School. Like we stayed at the same, same like, like building. So we meet every day and she knows me in and out. She understands me in and out and she knows what I want. She knows how I am and she really cares for me. So she's like, for now, I feel like she's the only one I can think of. You have to work hard, you know, no one's gonna give it to you. You have to chase your dreams because I feel like um, being in the same stage with my idol doesn't happen overnight. So first you have to trust the process. Nothing happens instantly and you have to stop comparing yourself with others. Cause like some people may get like top 16 or final in one year and some people might never get in five years and that's totally fine because everybody is different everybody has their own process and of course make sure you love what you're doing don't do it because you're forced to or because you have to but do it because you love to do it because i know like especially a lot of young generations like example like kids where they're starting off and they're a lot of kids like who go private with me if their parents like can you please teach my kid so can they can win battles i'm like no that's not what I want to do. Like, if if your kid wants to do it, like, because he, he or she loves it, then I'll do it. Like, you should never force something that you don't want because people can see genuinity when you dance, you know. Either you love it or you don't love it. So, yeah, make sure even when you're picking a style, like, make sure you love that style, not because it's trending or it's, like, the one winning, you know. Like, especially in Indonesia, being a whacking dancer at first, it wasn't easy for me, you know, with all like the conservativeness in Indonesia, being a male whacker, it wasn't the easiest, but I love to do it. And I feel like it makes me feel so good when I'm doing it, so I stick to it. So I feel like, yeah, when you're starting off, just make sure you love it mm. and trust yourself. And no matter how many, you know, ups and downs, remember it's part of the process.